It's wonderful to see that there are just desserts, that these two whiny, lazy losers have outed themselves to the world. I wish I had been involved in the Meghan and Harry leave Spotify negotiation. <laughs> the f***ing grifters. That's the podcast we should have launched with them. I got to get drunk one night and tell the story of the Zoom I had with Harry to try to help him with a podcast idea. Do it. It's one of my best stories. Netflix has given the Sussexes an ultimatum, make more content or don't get paid. The streaming service has told the couple they have to come up with another show if they want to receive $60 million in outstanding fees. The Sun is reporting the pair have only been paid half their contract worth $121 million. The thing that bothers me the most about all of it, and, and the reason I, I celebrate this news, is they don't want to work hard. That's been mm -hmm. at the heart of their troubles from the beginning. That's more than half the reason they left the royal family. They didn't want to do the work. They only wanted all the accolades. They didn't want to go to the ribbon-cutting ceremonies. They only wanted to wear the crown jewels. And by sees himself as a perpetual victim. Now, Rita, you know, we all understand that losing a mother at a young age can, of course, be tough. But I mean, lots of us across the West, Australia, Britain, America, we come from fatherless homes these days. You know, you don't go about mm -hmm. playing the victim card every two seconds like Prince Harry does, especially not if you grew up in a palace, for goodness sake, if you attended the yeah. ultra uber posh private school of Eton, if you inherited millions of pounds, and then you complain about the struggles of entering the working world only to sit around in a Montecito mansion without bothering to produce a few lousy podcasts from said mansion. Get off your privileged back. Side. That's what I say, Rita.